Hello. Hello. So we are going to do a body measuring today so that we can prepare a dress custom made for you. So I will be measuring your uh, body in detail. There is nothing much that you will have to do. Um, so uh, yeah, let's just start. So I will be writing down the measurements in the meantime. So we will start with the upper body. Okay, I'll just write down your name. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea of what kind of dresses you would like? Um, Will it be like summer, spring type or spring type? Spring but type. It's to you. Okay. Spring type. All right. We will then try some dresses on. Uh, so that you can see what about our shape you would like to have and so on. Okay, so let's just start. So I'll put this down. So, okay, I will just move your hair to the back now. We will start with the measuring. So first off, if I may ask you to have your hands mm -hmm. like next to your hips. Perfect. And I will be measuring from here, from your shoulder to your wrist. And your wrist is about here. Okay. So that's 60 centimeters. Oh, wait a second. Yes, that's 60 centimeters. It should be the same on the other side, yeah. but sometimes it happens that um, one of our limbs are actually longer than on the other side, especially with the legs. Mm -hmm. So, again, I will try to locate your wrist, which is right here. Perfect. It's a 60 again. You don't have to worry about anything. Okay. So that was 60. So what I will do is I will sketch your body. Don't worry. I don't really think that you look like this. That's mm -hmm. just... the shoulders, the arms, okay, your body, great, now your legs, okay, and we'll make the measurement here, okay, that, like this, and that's 60 centimeters, 60 centimeters, perfect, I will also make some hair. So that you don't look, don't look that manly. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so I will continue with measuring from your shoulder to your elbow. Now the width, now the width of your shoulders.
centimeters. Okay, now let's look at your, and we will measure probably, okay, we will now measure the chest, all right, and then also your neck in case you would want to have a collar. So if you can lift your arms for me like this and spread them I go really close and just Okay, so you will first measure the upper portion which is 95 and now across and that's 102 so 95, you can relax your hands now. So the body is 95 centimeters and across. It's 102 centimeters. Great. So what we will do now is measure. Again, if you can just spread your arms a little bit away from your perfect. So now the underbust that's 82 and on your hips. Now at the okay, yeah, good. And on the hips it's 98. So it was 82. It was 82.98 centimeters perfect. Now I will measure your neck. So far, I have the neck, which is 32. Then we have uh, the shoulder width, which is 42. Then we have the upper chest, basically from armpit to armpit, which is 95. Then we have across your chest, which is 102. Uh, then we have also your under bust, which is 82 and your hips are 98 centimeters long. We also did your arms, which are um, 60 centimeters uh, from the top of the shoulder to uh, the bottom to your wrist on both the sides. And then we also did um, from the shoulder to your elbow. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now, I will now again ask you to uh, lift your hands and we will be measuring basically from your armpits to your mm -hmm. hips and also from armpits to um, um, you know to the thinnest part of your uh, of your body yeah the waist perfect thank you so if you can lift your hand okay so we will go now so this part is right here, so that is 25 centimeters. Now, 25 and your hip, and your hips are right here. So, let's measure it like that. That's 35. 
so it was um, 20, 23 and 35 23 and 35 but I can do it on the other side You can lift your uh, arm again, or yeah, put it behind you. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, twenty, twenty-three. That's correct. And to your head. your calf to go out a bit and that's 30 31 centimeters and width is Can I 
I'll just have you turned around a little bit to this mm -hmm. side. Perfect, thank you. you have your arms spread for me and I'll be measuring across here and that's 100 and that's 109 okay you can relax your hands now Sometimes it happens that the legs are unproportional. So this is the upper part, this is the lower part. Yeah, so 49.56 it should be. And it is again 49, that's perfect. And 56. Yeah, great. So it's the same. Now from here to there, and that's a 31 again, and this is 39 actually. So there's one centimeter difference between your calves. So this one was smaller than mm -hmm. this one, but no worries about that. That's <laughs> like absolutely normal. It happens the same with the ties or with the cheeks, you know, mm -hmm. it's sometimes just disproportional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. About one centimeter here and there, it's really not noticeable at all. Yeah. Okay. So now here, that is 46. And here it's 65. Funny thing is that um, you actually have one centimeter smaller um, thigh here in this area as well. Yeah. So we have your uh, length from the hips to the knee to the um, bottom side of the knee. And we also have it down to your feet. On both the sides, we also have the circumference of your. Uh, of your calves and then also how uh, the circumference of your uh, thighs at the lower part and also at the upper part so what I need to do now is just to take an inseam from the inner side and that will be about it if you can stand a little bit more wide for me okay so I'll just take it like that that's 60 67 and here that's 66 okay so that's 67 and 66 67 on the right Also forgot one part and that is from the shoulders to your fingers if you can have them yes stretched and that is 75 and on the other 
side and that's 75 as well perfect okay now that we are done with the measuring we will be trying on the dress mm -hmm. and we want them accustom you accustom them to your needs okay like that it also does not show your cleavage much Style it. This is like one of the biggest advantages that all uh, these dress have. I would remove the excess of fabric right there mm -hmm. and also at the other side so that it kind of supports you a little bit more.